Yo, yo, man. Fuck with you, born your fan. Double seven, nigga, man. Shout out to those fucking angry fam. What up with you, good? Man, I'm good. I'm alive. I'm breathing, B. Yo, Chiller Jones. You ain't you, nigga. Chiller fucking Jones, B. We gotta fucking talk. We gotta talk. We gotta talk, B. I remember when you battled Cash Eaton. It was just like, who in the fuck is this nigga? This nigga is nice. His pen is fucking fire. Fire. Let's be clear. You are clearly top three in the pen. And the reason why I say three is because I'm including Lux and I'm including uh, quantum physics. So I got you at top three. I got you over Danger Zone and Danny and Rum Nitty and all that. You know what I'm saying? I got you over them niggas. You're top three of all time with the pen. Fuck that shit. Or, or active, however you want to say it. You know what I'm saying? This is the thing about you, my nigga. The first time I watched you and Jonah, I went to sleep. After that first round, you put me straight to sleep. Won't even fucking lie to you, my nigga. I don't even think coffee would have helped me. I was already tired and high anyway, but damn, when you came on, it was just like, all right, hold up, bro. This is not going to work. And I went to sleep. Fuck it. It is what it is. This morning, my nigga, I'm off, so I'm watching the battles again. You and Jonah is actually a dope battle. It's a dope battle. I'm not going to front. But my, my problem with you is this right here, B. And I'm going to be totally real with you. I don't understand why, like, it's just like, you've been in the game for mad long, right? Everybody knows you nice with the pen. Like, we all know that. The Martin Luther scheme, I don't even know why you even did all that. We know you nice with the pen. The problem with you is this, my nigga. It's not the scheme. It's not that that's boring. It's it's the tone. Your tone when you're doing it. Your, your, your slow flow, chairs, axle, and then whatever word association you're going to fucking use. You, you, you stretch it out and it gets slow. That's when it gets boring. When you look at your second and third round versus Jonah, you are turned the fuck up. You're punching in your scheme way better. When you land the haymaker, their punches, and, and if you, you, you got energy when you're doing it. If everybody likes you like that, look at you in Arsenal. You was fire versus Arsenal. Fire. Like, my nigga, if you know that the only thing that fucks you up is the fact that we saying you boring, and that comes from your style being laid back and you stretching words out all slow and shit. Slow motion is how you rap. If you know that that's what the fuck everybody complaining about, why the fuck don't you just turn up all three goddamn rounds? Because I'm going to tell you something. It really don't make no fucking sense for you to be top three pen, but say Lux and Quantum Physics, and it's just like... None of you niggas is breaking the barrier. Which one of y'all niggas is going to break the barrier to really go from fucking uh, just a pen nigga to a superstar? Which one of y'all going to do it? Danny Myers is trying. That's not working. We're watching JC. We're going to see how that works out. I don't think Danger Zone could do it, to be honest with you. It's really going to come down to you, uh, uh, Trez, Rum Nitty. You know what I'm saying? YK's been trying for mad long. He can't break through the barrier. Like, one of y'all pen niggas... Gotta eventually break through the barrier of just being a mid-tier nigga with a good pen. Period, bro. Daylight did it. Daylight did it. Now I think about it. Daylight and Lux did it. But all the rest of y'all niggas ain't doing it, bro. And if this is what the fuck you need to get past just being an average nigga, a mid-tier nigga with a dope pen, then I would suggest you to just turn the fuck up. I don't know why you don't. You so much more interesting to watch. When you turned up, look at your battle with prep. Look at the saga battle. Like, I don't know why the fuck you had a masturbation scheme in here. From the door, that shit was wild crazy though. Please don't ever do no, don't do no masturbation schemes, my nigga. Like, don't that shit was mad awkward to hear. And you started the goddamn battle off with that. That Mario scheme you did was fire though. Was fire. You gotta be turned up, chiller. Stop acting like a fucking librarian and turn up, nigga. Take a goddamn five hour energy drink before your battle. I'm telling you, cause you're not bad, but it, it gotta fuck with you that you're this fucking nice and niggas look at you like. You're not even a main, a, a, a fucking main stage battler. You're not a top tier nigga. And the reason why I'm coming at you and Cortez is next is because both of y'all got top tier in y'all slogan. Mr. Jump to the top tier from the proven ground. John and I sat there in your, face, in your face and told you you're not top tier. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it. That's, why, that's what you gotta fix. And more niggas would fuck with you. That's when you're top tier, when your fan base is better. That's it. That's all you got to do is fix that and you straight. And then you got Cortez. Cortez! Cortez! Papi! Come on, my nigga. All right. Listen here, bro. You can rap. We all know you can rap, my nigga. Okay, you got that grind time flow mixed in with the street shit mastered. How many fucking times have we told you you are nice? When you are breaking niggas down. We've been telling you this shit since the Hollahan battle, my nigga. Whenever you, you get a battler and he in front of you and you worrying about that nigga, you not just rapping the rap. 
you worrying about that nigga? The battles are so much better, my nigga. Like, look at your battle versus Daylight here. I got you winning. Now, I know Daylight got a lot of fans, and they gonna say he won. But here's the thing about battle rap, my nigga. You gotta understand. Battle rap is about your opponent. You was talking to Daylight about him. You was telling him about him. You know how dope your rounds is when you're just focusing on your opponent? It's way better for some reason than when you're just rapping to rap, my nigga. I gotta be totally honest with you. Sometimes when you rap to rap, it's just like... Okay. I'm thinking, do I got to go, do I got to use the bathroom or not? And shit like that. Like, damn, we're not going to wear tomorrow. This shit like that. It goes on sometimes when you rapping, bro. When you're going at your opponent, it's nasty, my nigga. It's nasty. It's nasty. I thought you was fucking daylight up, to be honest with you. You was fucking him up. You got to stick to that shit, my nigga. Because this got to be the year that it's just like, fuck that shit, bro. And another thing. I really, look, look at your angles. How you told King of the God, uh, uh, uh. Daylight used them use the chain for a gimmick and they respect him more than you. All that shit is real, nigga. Fuck that shit. Something gotta change. Alright, all you niggas who's a new stool could just rap real good and the fans don't like y'all. Y'all gotta stop giving up. Fuck that shit. Y'all gotta do something to turn that shit around. Cause I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you niggas. These new niggas on URL, you know what I'm saying? Like these niggas are getting a big ass push right now, bro. And they getting pushed right past you niggas. Right past you niggas. Straight up and down. I think at this point in time, Chess and all these other niggas, like, they fan bases is getting ready to pass y'all niggas. And I ain't trying to play y'all. I'm trying to show y'all what the fuck going on right now, bro. I'm trying to show y'all what's going on. Cortez, I don't know if you ever going to get back on URL. I hope so. But you better take advantage of that shit when you get back up there, bro. Don't just rap. Don't just rap, my nigga. Whoever the fuck you battling, you annihilate that motherfucker. Because I don't, like, it don't make sense that the best niggas with pens are, like, stuck in place. They stuck in place. I feel like Cortez is stuck in place, too. He don't want to admit this shit, but I feel like he is, to be honest with you, bro. He ain't getting called him to, to main stage. Now, let's be serious here and shit. And he's one of the best niggas out. One of the best niggas out. Chilla Jones. Like, Chilla Jones. See, QP is different. I don't know what happened to quantum physics. The whole sway battle and the drugs and the tall T. All that shit already fucked his shit up. He's trying to revamp that shit. He's trying, but that fucked him up. You know what I'm saying? Like, Chilla, you not really fucked up. Niggas are just saying you born. All it really takes is about three, four battles of you being turned up. And niggas will respect that shit. I really do. I, I really do think that. And the same with Cortez. Cortez, start going at your opponent. You win that daylight fire battle. When you wasn't going that daylight, I was less interested, to be honest with you. And for all you daylight fans out there and shit, daylight was dope. I'm going to be real with you. You had the Infinity Gauntlet line again. He's dope. But my thing about daylight be this, to be real with you, bro. Why in the fuck are we complaining about Rex doing mixtape bars and all kinds of shit like that? You know what I'm saying? And this motherfucker Daylight is sitting here and he's fucking, uh, 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 he doing the same shit. Ain't no fucking different. He just ain't doing mixtape bars. That's the only fucking difference. Hold on. That's the only difference. You dig what I'm saying? So y'all niggas let me know what the fuck y'all think about that and shit. And I got you niggas, man. Ain't hey, the fuck up. You already know how I give it up, man. One.